hello guys and welcome back to my channel thank you for stopping by it's Lillian yeah I really appreciate every one of you thank you for always sharing my videos and subscribing and liking I hope you enjoy it here so today I want to share with you the power of silence but now full of evil the evil right now is so much yeah so like if you can keep all these things private yeah because they say what people don't know they don't kill so if you can keep these things i'm about to tell us private some things you can always avoid so number one thing that we should keep silent is our family issues our family problems now that every everything that happened people just come out to social media to announce it i don't think it's healthy because when the things are down, you see that same family that you talked about. I see the one that will hold you back. I see the one that will carry you on. So I think we should not bring our family issues, our family problems to social media. If we can keep our family issues, our family drama out of social media, it will save us from a lot, you know, from a lot of trauma, a lot of a lot actually. So the second thing that we should keep silent, we should keep secret is our relationship. I'm not saying that you should be secret in your relationship. You know, it's not like someone is hiding you. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that you should not announce every our relationship on social media. It's, it's not only social media, even to our friends. You should try as much as possible to, you know, keep them private. Like I've said before, there's a difference between private and being secretive. You know, in your relationship your man should announce you your man should just be proud of you that one's a different that one is is him not being secret or you not being secret about him but like being private about his bringing it to you know social media and like you maybe have all 10 friends all of those 10 friends because see when you have 10 friends tell me that when you have 10 friends like all of them are not your best friends seriously they just tell us the truth like if they are more than three is a crowd that's what they say and it's true so you can just have one or two friends you can just mention your, your relationship to so you know about announcing to the whole world like so you can you have to keep our relationship private it will save us from a lot Something that we should keep private is our finances our networks you know come here, we should not come out here and be announcing every figure we make every year every moment we should try as much as possible to keep our finances private it will save us from a lot actually because people are jealous normally human beings are so jealous imagine you and i see your net worth and i see every couple you make every dollar you make every pounds you make it will stay up jealousy and saving up jealousy will, will stay up like enemies will start growing i know we have all of see in this world everybody have enemies so imagine when like your enemies are much I don't think it will really go well with you so let's not discuss our finances out here if you have one or two friends you can you know talk about business you want to do talk about maybe if you want to start up this business like you have one or two friends that like you always tell see how much i have see what i want to start see how much i need to you know to get it going that one is a different thing not like coming on social media you know discussing it with all your 10 friends how much you have, your net worth, how much you make every year, every dollar, every couple, every cent you make. No, it doesn't, it's not healthy. So I, I think we should keep our finances private. We're keeping our finances private because our finances is our secret between I and my God. The money in my account is a secret between I and my God. Everyone must not know about it. Even your partner should not really, really. I think you should have your private account. Maybe we talk about this private account with your partner. Seriously, you have your private account. Everybody you should not really know every couple in your bank. So the fourth thing that you should keep private is your goal, your aspirations. You know, I have seen people come on to give us the breakdown, the details, step by step of what they want to achieve. Like a business they want to start. They have not even started, so they are out here telling us, you know, like I've said before, there's a difference between discussing what you want to do and giving us a and giving us a breakdown of this business idea see there's a difference between giving us a breakdown and telling us how to do it you know telling us your that's your goals and aspirations should be your it should be your personal thing unless you have achieved them or unless you have um like that's why we have 
advisors like you have other yes that will help you like if you want to write an ebook you have people that will help you to write an ebook you know that kind of thing it's not when the book is not ready it's not yet published the whole world now know they're writing the book or maybe you want to start up this business the whole world now know that you want to start up this business you have not even like start giving a step on that business you know even started that business i heard about the business it doesn't make sense and the whole world i've heard about you know the step by step of that particular business i think it does not make sense so that things you should keep secrets so your dreams and your aspirations your goals i think it should is between you and your goal i always say this so before you like tell everybody you know there's a difference between like every year you said okay this is what you want to achieve like your new year resolution your new year plans is different you know setting out writing out your goals writing them out is different world different form coming here to give all the low down a step by step how to achieve those dreams you know there's a big difference between them so i think you should keep those secrets you should keep them private yeah point here is keep your weaknesses private please we are human beings, all of us have our weaknesses, right? So, I think we should keep our weaknesses private because not everyone have your interests at hand. Not everyone is happy with you. Your friend have a friend. They're not happy with you. They're not happy the way you're progressing. They're not happy that you started this. And where you have one weakness that you're not supposed to publish. You're not supposed to, like, announce. So, I think we should keep our weaknesses to ourselves. Even if you can just give it to, you can just tell it to, you know, two friends so that when you go out there, you know that, okay, it's this person, it's this person. So, it's not you that have 100 friends, 10 friends, you tell this person, no, <laughs> it, it will be out there. Maybe you have one sickness, you see a Heidi, you have one problem, you know that people are not supposed to know about. See, everybody don't have your interests at heart. They will use it against you one day. Keep your weaknesses to yourself. Keep that sickness you are struggling with yourself. Keep that thing you are saying. That thing that you know that is not healthy, a kind of so keep it to yourself is your weakness. You know, some people they, they you know your weaknesses, right? So I think we should keep it to ourselves. Like I said before, not people have your interests at heart, so that people will not use it against you tomorrow and you start feeling hot. Why you're the one that costs you and the one that announced you to the whole world. So let's keep our let's keep our weaknesses to ourselves. This point here that I want to mention is that things I have to keep secret, I have to keep private. The things you have to be silent on is your good deeds. You know, because you gave this person five hundred thousand naira, the whole world will be gave this person five hundred thousand. The world, your reward is in heaven. It's only God that sees the secret that will see the good deed you did to someone. You must not come here and announce it. You must not like I've seen like if you come to the model's baby, you drop your camera. If you're going to help help baker, drop the baker, drop your camera for me. I think that is right in a kind of well, in a kind of way. Unless you're a content cre creator, you just want to like create, you know, when you're a content creator, everything is content creatable. If you're not, I don't, I don't think that anytime you're going to give a big or something or you help someone out there somehow, somehow, you know, someone come and start publishing, mm -hmm. someone start announcing it, you have given my good deed, if not, I gave this person 500,000. See, it's between you and God. It's only God that will see you, that will see the world. It's only God that, you know, that will send the helper during your own time you know that kind of thing it's not human beings because you should not put our trust in our human beings you should put our trust in god because it's the utter and finisher of our faith it's the one that will see your truth so keep your good deeds to yourself keep them to yourself it will save you from a lot from a lot of trauma i'm telling you this be silent in some things don't announce every move a lot you have to keep silent on that will actually save you a lot is the fight and argument you have with people you know I know in this life that you grow out of love, all those stories, it's not only about your partner, I'm talking about your partner, I'm talking about the relationship you have with your friends, the kind of relationship you have with your friends, you know. I know, see, in this world, it's an argument are irresistible, you know, there are things you cannot avoid. So, don't go ahead and start announcing the whole world that, okay, you fought with this person because of one little thing that I know you were supposed to cause a problem. You guys maybe fall out of it and there was an issue. Now go and start announcing it because you guys are not going out again so please we should keep this private we should keep it secret we should be silenced on this and also our fight and argument with anybody we should not we should avoid that you know
because of future references, all this will be at this, because of tomorrow, all this here this because of depression. See, these things can cause you depression if you come and start announcing it tomorrow. They tell you this person say this person say. Imagine when you're hearing say 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 from all around, your head will stop like you don't even understand it. You won't get it seriously. So we should keep our fight and argument with people silent. Normally, because definitely you have to fall. Sometimes, most of the times, you argue. So maybe if it doesn't go well, if the argument does not end well, just keep it to yourself. It must not announce it. It doesn't make sense. So in your mind now, you might be thinking, what of content creators that like showcase their lifestyle on YouTube or wherever they are showcasing it? I want to tell you that people that have mastered this art of silence show you what you want to see. Seriously, they show you what you want to see. And especially as people, maybe all these uh, people in relationship, they're sharing their man. They're not showing the struggle. They're not showing you what is happening behind clothes. They just show you what you want to see. So that's what I'm suggesting. That's what I'm like advising you. Don't be actually moved. Don't be moved. Don't even actually, don't move. Don't be moved by what you see on social media because people that master this art of silence will show you what you want to see. Then that by making you either is so engrossed with social media, whatever, shenanigans, all those stuffs. You be moving well, all you see on social media. You know, you be you not be depressed, a kind of because you are you are going by social media and everything people are posting, all that. So, people that master the arts of silence show you what you want to see. They don't show you what is happening behind closed doors. So, you really have to be careful to avoid <laughs> untimely death, heart attack, in short. The things you have to keep silent again on is uh, health conditions. Like I've mentioned this earlier like your weaknesses i think that is still your weaknesses so when you're battling with one sickness and the other and you know that it can cause you like you're not happy with this definitely if you're sick you're not happy that you're sick so i think you should keep that secret be silent on that don't announce your heart condition don't even unless your family member that you trust that's the ones that you tell your health issues you know that kind of thing so you should try to keep silence on certain things I hate condition in a that will keep you silent. This person has say this person have STD, this person has HIV. You start talking about it and it can bring depression. And when you hear it, you won't be happy with it. It can even bring trauma. So the next thing they have, have to keep silent on is our past traumas. Our past traumas, our past, you know, like now, you're dating someone now and you don't even know how the person handles issues. You guys started coming along, right? You start come and start telling the person, hey, you dated this person, you about 100 babies, you blah, blah, blah. <laughs> start telling the person your past relation, what happened? They see what happened in the past, you say in the past. Unless what you have to bring it up is if it's a critical condition, something that can lead to death, that's when you can bring it up to your present relationship. But let's keep keep silence on your past traumas, your past relationship that did not end well. Keep them silent, they're not such for you to bring them in again. See, the future is bright, so you don't even have to bring darkness from back to the future. Doesn't make sense. So, these are some of the things that you have to keep silence on so that this world will be a better place for you, so that you won't really find it difficult at the long run because social media does not forget. Maybe, especially when you come out to start calling someone out. Come and start doing social media fight. Come and start calling someone out. It can, it can cause you something, something in the future. You know, even know they go and start digging it out. You know, they go and start digging it up. See, uh, like I said, the social media does not forget. Mind how you call people out seriously. Avoid some fight. See, internet is good. Here. Avoid some fight. You don't have to fight every fight. Some fight, you just leave it for God. You don't have to do everything by yourself, by your human power. Everything, you know, with this every side. What I'm hearing is what to give you what to know. Don't. Follow them and be giving anybody to, to, to seriously. Avoid bringing your past traumas, your past traumas in front. Seriously, future is right. So these are some of the things you have to keep silence on. These are some of the things you have to keep. Just you can just tell it to one or two friends that you trust very well. You know the friends that you trust in your life. Not everyone that see people can always come and live our life. So all those ones I know that they have stayed and they will stay with you. Everything can think they are the ones you can just chip in some of them to they can hold your secrets with you. So that's it. Please feel free to drop some of the things that you think is advisable for us to keep silent. You know for our health. For our for height, in fact, for to avoid depression and to avoid unnecessary drama in the future. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have watched at this point, thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you in my next one. Bye!